Jim, great to be here again, mate, and it's great to see that you've got some rain finally. Yeah, no, great to see you again, Ben, as, as usual. I always look forward to your trips up here. Um, yeah, the rain's been very spasmodic for us the last six months, as it has been for everybody, but, uh, yeah, we've had a little bit in the last month, so it's brightened things up a bit. And how about everyone else up further north in Queensland? Yeah, once again, it's patchy. Uh, some people had good rain and some people missed out altogether, poor people. But, um, yeah, it's yeah, the signs it's going to be get better over the next um, month, six weeks, though, I think, yeah. So let's get straight into it. Tell me about the Angus Bulls in the lineup this year. Right, Ben. Uh, we actually, we're quite uh, happy with the lineup of bulls this year. Um, with the bigger volume of bulls that we're breeding, we've, we've been able to lift the quality up compared to, say, last autumn, I, I feel anyway. Um, and the sidelines this year, the Ascot Hallmark, um, Millamurra Kingdom, Millamurra Clooney, Granite Ridge Thomas, Brave Heart of Stern, Tamania Emperor, Clooney Range Juno, the first sons of his to be sold um, in Australia as far as I know, and of course Millamurra Highlander who we've been selling some out of for quite a while. And Jim, we've got three Angus bulls that you know we've identified as some you know real stud side potential, um, including a brother of Hallmark. Yes, Ben, yeah, yeah, we're very happy with the way Hallmark's bred, of course, and um, continues to. And, you yeah, know, we've flushed his mother to the same um, bull, uh, Emperor, of course, but, uh, and, yeah, we've, this full ET brother is, is a real standout in, in my view, and as you said, he's, you know, he's, he's lining up pretty well. And we've got separate videos on those bulls that people can view um, on the website, yeah. Yes, yeah, we've got that, of that um, full brother and also a couple of Hallmark sons, which are, are really nice types of bulls, yeah. And Jim, tell me about uh, the lineup of the Charolais. Yeah, well, same with the Charolais. Yeah, we're really happy with the lineup of Charolais. We've got in this um, sale, um, they're very soft, very meaty bulls. Um, we've got uh, half of them are two-year-old bulls and half of them are 18 to 20 months um, old bulls, so some there to suit different people's needs. Um, Sire lines there, Ben, um, include uh, Palgrove Headline, the bull we bought off Palgrove a few years back, and uh, the semen rights for him we sold to Silverstream Charolais in New Zealand. So they're very pleased with his progeny, and we're quite ple yeah, we're very pleased with his progeny as well. So some sons of his. Um, Ascot Gold Rush, Ascot Galaxy, Ascot Juggernaut, and also Palgrove Justify. They're the main sire lines that the, the bulls are bred from. And again, we've got uh, four stud sire potentials in that that are you know really interesting bulls, aren't they? Yes. Uh, once again, there's a couple of Ascot Juggernaut sons, um, who was the grand champion bull at Rocky Beef Week um, three years ago. It was our top selling bull there in 2016. We kept semen from him, and yeah, his sons have been outstanding. So we've got two sons by him in the sale, which which we think have got, you know, in our view, got such high potential, but it's up to other people make their own minds up on that, I guess. And there's a couple of other bulls there by our own homebred sires. Well, one by a homebred sire, another homebred sire, but also by a Palgrove headline bull, um, lot 35, a red red bull, um, and he's an outstanding bull, actually. And uh, as you said before, there's uh, separate videos on those um, individual bulls. Jim, I'm really impressed with the females that you're offering this year, so tell me a bit about what's offered there. Yeah, Ben, we're, we're very pleased with those. As, as you know, our properties are, are full, so we've got these great excess females we've, we've, you know, we've got to get rid of somehow, so we've kept the, the better ones of those excess ones to sell here, and the other ones get, get sold um, you know, as coals, basically, but these are excess heifers, which are still good heifers. Um, once again, they're by, all by AI size. Um, some of those include... Um, Ascot Hallmark again, Millamurra Clooney, Millamurra Kingdom, Clooney Range Juno, Tamania Emperor, Texas Global, and is half sister to the $190,000 uh, heifer that sold at Millamurra by that Cunamble Hector, but I'm not saying she's worth $190,000 though. Oh, it'd be nice if you got it. <laughs> yeah. The quality assurance measures that you've got in place and you've said in Ascot sets you apart from you know a lot of breeders in the industry. Um, these benchmarks will stand behind every animal you sell, don't they? Yes, we, we've put a, a lot of effort, as you know, in, into our breeding program, and that's, you know, collection of data is, is ma a massive thing we do here. Um, every animal's breed plan recorded. We're five-star rated for both Charolais and Angus for breed plan, which is the top rating you can get for collection of data, basically. Um, and everything is vet-checked, all the bulls are vet-checked, semen tested, vaccinated for everything pretty well you can think of. Uh, actually another added thing we do do is they're all three germ blooded so all animals, bulls and heifers, 
can um, can go to tick areas because they've that's, all been treated with that. Yeah. yeah, and that's really important. And Jim, it's great to see that you've got Jim Green coming in and doing independent structural assessment as well. Yes, Ben, we've, you know, it's a very positive mood for, mood for the stud to have genuine uh, independent assessment of, of our bulls and females that we're selling. Um, just gives buyers added confidence that you know the, all the cattle have been checked independently, whether it's the vet for semen or and Jim Green for structural and temperament. Just you know, makes makes it easier for people when they're when they're buying with more confidence. Yeah. Well, Jim, um, it's been fantastic spending time with you again, mate, and all the best for the sale. Yep, thanks, Brendan. Enjoy. Look forward to seeing you then.